up. I'm with my dad. Yes, dad. I remember. My father was there.
and we see that we aren't perfect Do you stop desiring me? I could keep your eyes from crying Please don't turn your back on me Or a 
And as I said I slept as though dead Dreaming seamless dreams Of lead When you go away
mansion on a hill, but deep in a secret kingdom where a young prince lived. He had four sisters and four brothers. The prince had a special bedroom on the ground floor with a window that looked down into a deep, deep forest. He could see distant lights from other castles in the kingdom from his window. During the day, he went to school. When it became night, he stayed by himself, usually in his secret, hidden bedroom. One night, while nearly everyone was asleep, he took out of the attic a radio, and he decided to listen to it. As soon as he turned it on, the wind outside of his room stirred up for a few seconds. He thought to himself, I'll climb out that window and go sit out there with my radio. Out the window he went, sitting against a small stump behind some flower beds. The light from his bedroom window he could still see. The music of Bach was playing. After a while, it began to sound distant as the young prince gazed at this radio on his knee. The music was floating away from his hearing. What could be happening? He took it off of his knee and put the radio to his ear. Nothing happened. Then the transistor left his hands and was floating in the midair two feet off the ground. As the prince laughed, it suddenly turned around and it was light green phosphorus in color. Dancing back and forth, the magic transistor started moving down his path. He could hear the sound coming out like nothing he had ever heard before. The trees were getting closer together and flowers glowed with tinges of magic light as he followed, thinking to himself, what's going on? The transistor lifted slowly up to the top of a little tree and sat there while it slowly became louder to where the prince could hear it clearly. Fireflies shot across the path in front of the prince. He turned around and couldn't see the light from his window. There he was, watching, all alone, all by himself. He got a hunch to get back to his room, and he turned and ran right back.
Thirty seconds after he was in bed, he fell back to sleep. The next morning, he had forgotten all about what had happened the night before. But when nighttime came once again, his thoughts somehow found their way back to remembering the fascinating episode of the night before. his bedroom light and sat in his favorite chair. Thoughts danced through his head for a while. Suppose I went to check and see if my transistor is still down there, he said. I wonder what would happen. He sat up in his open window, looking quietly down at the path. A firefly flew in his room and flew right out again. Down jumped the prince, and he went again to find his radio. As he made his way, he could hear something once again. There was that transistor up on the same tree. Then, from inside of it came a strange voice. Then the prince heard something he never knew could be. The hidden Pied Piper was laughing as the prince moved his head back and forth to the music going on. When the music died down, the piper said that every night after midnight, if you leave on your transistor radio, I'll promise to bring more magic music to you. No one, he said, will ever believe you. So why tell of me to anyone? You are my only friend of night, said the Pied Piper, and I'll talk to you again some night. Then the radio was glowing no more. As it fell into the hands of the fascinated prince, he ran back amazed, and he hopped right back into bed. That night, he dreamt all night, mostly about his radio and his friend, the Pied Piper. did try what the piper said to do, but for weeks at night, he heard nothing like the music of that magic night. (laughs) 
That Pied Piper must have been joking, he said. There's nothing but Bach on this radio. I'm going to throw it back up in the attic for good. This, he said, disbelieving the young prince so loud that two of his brothers overheard him. The next day, those two brothers took the radio from the attic and turned it on. There it was. The music had to have been from the Pied Piper himself. The prince's sisters ran in their brother's room, and they were all dancing and screaming with joy. But that transistor was playing too loud, and their mother heard it. What are you doing there? What is that you're listening to? Give me that radio at once, she said. A few days later, the king and queen of the castle were invited to a ball. As they were leaving that evening, the queen said to the young prince, who was the eldest of the children, Take care of the other ones tonight, and don't try to find that radio. We have it hidden away. We'll be home by midnight. Remember what we said. And then she said goodbye. children's mother left, the party had begun, and the children looked everywhere, high and low, checking to see if they could find that transistor radio. They couldn't find it, they couldn't find it. They looked upstairs and downstairs, all through the castle, and finally, all of a sudden, they heard a sound. What is that sound? Is it possible? Could it be the Pied Piper himself coming out of the magic transistor radio? Or was it just the wind whistling by the castle window? No one knows if the mysterious Pied Piper of Night was the one who came back to visit the princes and princesses again. But if you have a transistor radio and the lights are all out some night, don't be very surprised if it turns to light green and the whirling magic sound of the Pied Piper comes to visit you.